It's cold. Is this? It's from Elheim. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. On your left! Be careful, brother! You're covered in life But what if, by doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Rack? Is there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. Not sure this is the right way back to the den, brother. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Looks like they want us to use it at one of the altars. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of Dusk Till Dawn. 
Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hilda's Pini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the cap. Wow. This place changes at night. A lot. No less humid, unfortunately. <gasps> the egros. So, we report back to Hilda Sfini, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father. Do all the plants who want to kill us? No, no. Only the carnaptious ones. Oh, 
Who's that? Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blowfinder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. Nice work with the wolves. I've never seen any clips in Vanaheim before. Yeah. That just sort of happened when we freed the moon. I've seen a lot of weird things, but a moon in a box was on a whole new level. I can stoke the fires of those chain blades for you. Think you're gonna be okay? His time with the angry dog wasn't pleasant. The Lunda can catch people as well as all. Chewing the fat. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einar Yar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigfear, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfiend slip in to rescue your brother in confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Alpha! That wisp is replicating! Freyr's being held in a prison to the north. Follow Freya, brother.
Since our last visit, mm. our disadvantages are many. That no can heal your friends, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Go! Oh. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. 
Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed. <laughs> The Norn said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? Gods, Vamir. What? The most annoying man alive. Hmm? <laughs> More up ahead. On your mark. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
This way. Alas, we're on Neathhold. It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathhold protects the tree's roots wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. Track them long enough, and the Spanian and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. Call on Skull, please.
Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. Ooh. 